How do we prove that the identity of a group is unique? This is our group sum binary operation star on some set G. This is one of the first results you're likely to prove in an abstract algebra course. In today's Wrath of Math lesson, we'll go through this quick proof. We begin the proof with two names for an identity element of this group. So we'll say let E1 and E2 be identities of G under that operation star. To prove that the identity is unique, we'll want to show that E1 is equal to E2. Because this demonstrates if two elements are identities, they actually must be the same element, and so the identity element is unique. So notice, although it's kind of tempting to use a contradiction argument here, we are avoiding that. We could do a proof by contradiction here, but a direct proof follows the exact same way, so it's preferable to use a more simple proof method. By definition of identity element, what do we know about how E1 and E2 combine with each other? Well, certainly, E1 star E2 must be equal to E2 by definition of identity. Since E1 is an identity, if we combine it with E2, it leaves E2 unchanged. However, since E2 is also an identity, when we combine E1 with E2, E1 also remains unchanged. Then, we can see, by substitution, we have that E1 is equal to E2. And that proves that the identity of a group is unique. If we give two different names to identities of a group, we've shown that in fact those two names are referring to the exact same element, the unique identity of the group. So I hope this video helped you understand this simple but fundamental result about group identities. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description.